Is it possible to take a team of Wonder Kids from non league to the Premier League and win it all? Let's find out. <laughs> Welcome to the channel, my name is Andrew, thanks for watching. Now, I thought of something a little different yesterday and I thought, this is going to work. So I picked Curzon and Ashton as they are the closest team to me that are in the Vanarama North-South. And I have assigned them a number of Wonder Kids uh, on from the Football Manager Story Wonder Kid list. And I've not gone for, the, I've not gone for like Gavi and Ansu Fatty and those guys. I've tried to pick the sort of ones that could. Uh, I've gone trying to go for people under under twenty to begin with, and ones that are maybe not the most known names. Let's show you who we brought in. Here we go. And some of these names you're going to we'll look. At, we're not going to look at all of them. We'll look at some of the exciting ones. So we've got Wisden Amy, who's at Bologna. Matthias Franca, who is at Flamengo. Angelo, you'll see my other Wonderkid videos, a winger really excited by 16 years old, look at him, brought him to Ashton. Uh, Dane Scarlett, Alfie Devine, both from Spurs. Got Shola Shortar from Man United, only 17. Kaike, the centre-back, one I had to bring in, Benjamin Sesko from Salzburg to Curzon Ashton. Then some names, Wilfried Gnoto, Matteo Ruggeri, Lorenzo Luca, of course I had to, he's 20, but I'm not going to get to use him, so why not use him in this? Then guys like, like Ronnie Edwards, who you might not know, Leon King from Rangers. So if we rank them all by potential ability, we've got some 170s, 160s, 150s, 140s, who, like all of these could be Premier League players. The problem we're going to have is, Curzon Ashton are semi-professional, they have no facilities. Average training facilities. Top corporate, apparently, but average training because people that come to buy beer are more important than the kids. So they're going to rely on being good enough to get us up to like the championship. We can get some money in, we can start improving the facilities, and then maybe they'll improve and get better and they'll be good enough for the Premier League. So for our first season in the Vanarama National League North, we are predicted top 1 to 91 on. And we have pretty much all of the media dream of living, apart from the left midfield and the right back. Okay. Uh, the tactic that I've set up for this is a 4 3 3. Inside forwards, inverted wingers, pressing forward, Mazala, box to box midfielder. I've gone for one attacking wing back and one inside inverted wing back to protect. Playing positive, just going to hopefully attack and win the league. My hope is we'll do this one, we'll do a couple of seasons in one video and then a couple of seasons until we get to like Championship Premier League and we'll do one, one episode, one division an episode. There we go, end of season one. As predicted, we have cruised the National League North, 110 points, lost twice. Benjamin Sesko leads the league with 36 goals, top three in the average ratings, top in assists for Gary. Clean sheets, Calvin Rasti, the Dutch goalkeeper, absolutely smashed it. Go 121 goals, 98 XG, 23 goals from corners, most passes completed, most clear cut chances. The boys smashed it. Quick look at the squad stats 50 goals in 51 games of Benjamin Sesco. 18 from Shortar, 18 from Luca, Alfie Devine, Charlie Patino of Arsenal in there, Josh Martin, 13, Ruggeri, 29 assists, Angelo, 23, Josh Martin, 21. We'd hoped it'd be that easy. Let's get to the Vanarama National. Going into this season, the expectations are still very high. Predicted first, 1 to 91 on, only one player not in the National Dream 11, which is crazy that. They thought that there was National North players better than two of them. Uh, probably because we don't play a left midfielder. Maybe. Ankle up front. Interesting. Yeah, we should be smashing through this as well. More goals from Sesco. And what's interesting is I don't think anyone's actually improved. If we arrange by current ability, uh, Sesco's on 130, Ruggeri 124, Angelo 123, Luca 122. 
So keep an eye, we'll be keeping an eye on them because I don't think we're progressing at all. Facilities were still on average training. There's no money in the club as of yet. It's going up, but there's no money there to, to really do anything. Just a little check in in January, the end of December, start of January. Top 13 points clear. Sesco with 37 goals. He's got even, he's destroying it even more against slightly better players. Uh, Sesco and Josh Martin average rating. Assist wise, three of those boys killing it. Most clean sheets again. Yeah, we've only lost one game, drawn one game. Okay, let's fast forward to the end of the season. There we go, as predicted, Curls and Ashton, 128 points, only drew two and lost two games. Benjamin Sesco, 60 league goals. Wow. All three guys in the average ratings, uh, Josh Martin in show tire and assists, 27 clean sheets for a goalkeeper. Yeah, well, let's... Benjamin Sesco is absolutely lighting it up in this, this level. 19 years old now, looking pretty good. Squad wise, Sesco's gone up by three points. There, one thirty three is our highest rated player at the moment. Seventy four goals in fifty two games of Benjamin Sesco. That's ridiculous. Thirteen assists as well for him. I think we are oh, runner up in the English FA Trophy, fourth round of the FA Cup. That's brilliant. So beat FC United, beat Oxford, beat Oldham. All trimming and there's this FA Trophy, FA Cup Plymouth, and then oh, beating one 0 by Brentford in the fourth round of the FA Cup. Awesome. Oh, lost the penalties at the FA Trophy final. Oh, not County. Okay. So this will do us for the first episode. On the first two seasons, we're into League Two. Hopefully, we should maybe get some facilities going, some some improvements going in this squad. Average training, below average youth, 4,000 seater stadium, finances, 1.4 million in the bank. So we'll start requesting for some facilities. Yes, the, the hope is, because if these guys don't progress, they're not going to be good enough for the Premier League. Like if you put a Sesco into like a Liverpool over like four or five seasons, he'll get to the 140s, 150s. Not sure we're going to see that here. But these guys are good enough to get us at least hopefully to the championship and then we might start to struggle. So I hope you enjoyed us. It's a bit of fun uh, to see if we can take these wonder kids all the way to the top. And then when we get to the end, probably do 10 seasons, we'll show you the current ability, where it started and where it finished and what the potential was uh, and see if we're able to, to get anyone up to a decent level. Yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Drop a like if you enjoy this and you want to see more. Please drop a subscribe on it so you don't miss out in the future episodes. I'm Andrew. Until next time, cheers.